Hello Capricorn! Welcome to my channel, The Mother Speaks Tarot. My name is Allison. Um, if you're new, welcome, welcome, welcome. Please don't forget to give me a big like and also to subscribe. That helps me out so much. I'm also an author. I've written two books so far. If you want to know what they're about, all the information about them is in the description box below. Okay, so welcome everyone. Um, since I know this is just the beginning of April, but when I do Zodiacs again, Easter will be over. So we're celebrating Easter now. I just love this cute little thing that I got here. Um, so I love celebrating and decorating my table. It's so much fun. Whenever I do anything that has to do with Jesus, we use the Medieval Scapini Tarot by Luigi Scapini. This is a vintage deck. It has um, Christian elements in it because, you know, of Jesus and all. We're also going to be using the Keepers of the Light deck. Master Jesus, Mother Mary, and Mar um, Magdalene are in there as well. And of course, <clears throat> pardon me, we're going to use the Loving Words of Jesus here because this is about Jesus. And uh, I also have the Angel Answer deck. <clears throat> pardon me, guys. Um, this has two yes cards and two no cards in here. So if you have a question you'd like a yes or no answer to, um, before I use this deck, I'll say, here it is time for your question, you know, and uh, you might get a yes or no answer. All right, so let's go. Let's get this going here. What's going on for Capricorn? I hope you guys are having a great day. I hope y'all had a great month last month. I'm hoping this month is going to be even better. As I say that, Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Fortune. Mm -hmm. Wheel of Fortune you don't see coming yet. Some sort of fortune's coming in. You don't even see that yet. And it might have something to do with a partnership here because that's what this Two of Swords is about. It's about harmony. All right, I'm going to do this one more time. All right. Okay. All right. Boy, these. Okay. Oh, calm down there. Calm down. All right. What do we got here? Obviously, that's the Knight of Swords. I would just like one more card, please, Spirit. Thank you so much. Bottom of the deck, King of Coins. Yeah. You got something good coming in that wheel of fortune right off the bat um wish fulfillment that you haven't gotten just yet all right so you got the nine of cups in the reverse the lover's card and the four of coins in the reverse okay um So the Nine of Cups is wish fulfillment, but it's also when you are able to celebrate everything that you've accomplished so far. And that's what I'm feeling. This is um, different for the Nine of Cups for me. Uh, this is just saying to me right off the bat that um, you're not able to really celebrate your accomplish accomplishments just yet. It could have something to do with a partner or a Gemini. Um, or a choice that needs to be made here. And the four of coins in the reverse is that you're, you're not holding back anymore though, okay? You may also not be saving as much as you want to, okay? You may not have, um, yeah, maybe you and your partner kind of just don't have the money right now. No, 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 no. Oh, all right, keep going now. I am. Okay, so underneath your nine of cups in the reverse, you have the nine of coins. Okay, so 99, there's an angel number for you. So these are obviously related here. Your wish fulfillment hasn't come in yet, but it's coming. 
Okay, the nine of pentacles or the nine of coins here, this is all about being independent, independently wealthy. You have everything you need and you don't need anyone. Huh. So maybe there's this whole thing of like, maybe this, this love here. All right, let's just keep going here. Now, what we have is the Knight of Swords, okay? Now, all knights are, are movers. There's something that, you, there's a truth that someone wants to bring in really fast. Um, and this knight just looks like really pompous, like really, um, not pompous really, but really decorative and, and doesn't he, he, he looks really um, like, Somebody wants to rush in and tell you a truth and embellish it. And then the, what we have here is the five of cups, which is mourning. Um, crying over spilled milk. Okay, so I kind of feel like maybe what's going to happen here is somebody's going to come in here and tell you a tr something that's true that may make you feel pretty sad. But, but because of all this, they may have, you know, embellished it a little bit. So, yeah, there might be an issue here with, um, with your partner. Uh, maybe your wish fulfillment hasn't come in because you, you don't have enough money here um, be, because you haven't been holding back by saving because of your partner here. But underneath this, you've got the, the nine of coins, which is, is saying to me that, you know, maybe you're going to say something cutting or your partner is going to say something cutting to you. And so you're, you may be ending up um, single again if you, if you break up because this is also, the knight of swords is also going to war, okay? So I, what I'm feeling here is, is, and you know, that's the morning thing here. If you guys go to war, then you, you'll have all your money, but you'll be, um, not part of a, of a partnership. For others of you, if you are not involved with, um, a lover, you know, that kind of partner, this could be a decision that you need to make. before you can get your business to fly. But I'm feeling mostly, you guys, let's see what else we can get. I'm feeling mostly um, this, this love relationship. This is the card for Gemini, and so is this Knight of Swords guys, heavy Gemini. So you have nine and nine, and then you have Gemini and Gemini. Okay. And then you have four and five. I'm not sure what that means, but I feel like I had to say that it's like significant for you to see how this, how these, um, energies are playing together, not, not playing, but yeah, working together. All right, let's see what we can get here from this deck. What does Capricorn need to know about this situation? What light can you shine on this situation for Capricorn here? We've got, whoops, Dharma unfolding. Remember that you are on a path. Take one step at a time to happiness. Okay. Let's see what else. Paul the Venetian, experiencing grace. Share your gifts with grace. Waves of inspiration and love are coming to you. So this is Dharma, guys. All 
right, that's all we're going to get from that deck, I guess. Let's see what the uh, loving words of Jesus have to tell us about this, because this is not clear to me. Uh, it may be clear to you, but I, I'm i like, I don't know. I'm just seeing this situation over here that you may be heading into. All things whatsoever you ask shall ask in prayer, believing you shall receive. Be not afraid, only believe. So this is two things here that are saying whatever you pray for, believe. Don't be afraid, believe. Have faith is another way of saying this and and that would also be a, a kind of grace waves of inspiration and love are coming to you one step at a time will lead to happiness so be not afraid that's what i'm feeling with this whole war thing and the sadness and everything and i maybe what you're doing here is um, you're, you may be, if you're breaking up with this person or dissolving a, a, fr a friendship or a partnership, it could be that you're going for something better. Heal the sick that are therein and say unto them, the kingdom of God has come nigh unto you. You're a healer. It's time for you to heal. Knock. Knock and it shall be opened unto you. All right, I'm gonna be using the Angel Answer deck. This is the deck here that has um, the yes or no cards in here. Let's see what we can get. You could be unhappy here because this person, you know what this is right here? This is a nun. This is a greedy nun. Which is kind of a, a, a thing that is, that doesn't quite go together, does it? When we think about nuns, we think about um, graceful, good people, women. Okay, but this one's a, a greedy one. So when it's in the reverse, you may be feeling just very um, generous. You, you don't, more like the, the nun should, the way we see nuns, or you know what I mean? Just like you're, you know that you're um, like a high priestess, okay? Yep, trust. Be not afraid, trust. Trust in the bigger picture. Yeah. Trust in your higher self. Okay? Okay. Just throw those over there. Let's see what we got here. We got, uh, oh, there's something better. There's something better. Trust. And it's coming in the near future. You, you've got this king of coins right here this is your energy i believe this is taurus energy but this is still earth energy what's under this guy you may have been confused and having a lot of choices or you may have been indulging a lot in something um you know you could have been partying too much um and so there's some you, you've racked up some really good karma because you are a good person. That's what I'm trying to say about this nun here. When she's in the reverse, she's more like, you know, she's a good person. She's a good nun, not a greedy nun. You know what I mean? And, and you know that you're spiritual. You know that you're a, a high priestess, I wanted to say. So I, that's what you are, right? So you've got all this good karma going on here. Oh, but there's a separation there's a separation coming. 
Yeah, and this is why you haven't been able to move forward. Mm -hmm. You haven't seen that this is a blessing. And then you'll, you'll be able to drop this heavy burden. Yeah, because there's been some trickery going on here. Yep, uh, maybe somebody's been cheating. Um, you may want to move away. Or, yeah, the sun, though, is waiting for you. Happiness. That's what's waiting for you. All right, well, that's pretty much it. Um, trust, don't be afraid. You're going to be, uh, basically, Dharma is unfolding, okay? This is something that your higher self knows about, and um, just, just, just trust in spirit, and everything is going to work out for you, okay? All right, that's what I have for you at this time, Capricorn. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I'll see you next time.